The nuclear industry was dead for 25 years after Three Mile Island and Chernobyl, dead. It was still alive in France because France was the quintessential nuclear power. But the reason nuclear power had a renaissance is because of climate change. And so the nuclear industry came back on the coattails of climate change saying, we're part of the solution. We're clean. We don't emit CO2. Clean technology. Let me give you the business case on why nuclear is a no-go. It's not going to happen. It's dead. Uh, others can argue the ideological case. I chair a group of 120 of the biggest companies in the world in IT, transport, logistics, power and utility, construction. Our companies know it's dead. Same as the politicians haven't caught up. Let me give you the arguments. There are 443 nuclear power plants in the world today. They're old. And they only make up 6% of all the energy that we create. To have a minimum impact on climate change, a minimum impact according to the UN panel on climate change, we'd have to have 20% of our energy as nuclear. To have a minimum impact on climate change, which is the rationale for the renaissance of this industry. That means we'd have to replace all 443 old plants, build another thousand, and have almost 1,500 nuclear power plants online in the next 25 years at a cost of trillions of dollars. Does anyone really think that's going to happen? Now, number two, we still don't know how to get rid of the nuclear waste. We're 60 years into this technology, and for 60 years the nuclear industry said, we'll figure out how to transport and dispose of the nuclear waste. We still can't do it. In my country, we spent $8 billion of government taxpayers' money, 18 years, to build a vault in a mountain called Yucca Mountain to store this deadly waste so that it would be safe after 10,000 years. Well, here's the problem. We finished digging the vault, and before we put any nuclear waste in, we're finding structural problems in the foundation because the planet is always moving, the tectonic plates. You can't store it anywhere. When Fukushima hit, and I know France hasn't even talked about Fukushima. It's disgraceful. The media hasn't even discussed it. What really the problem was is the spent nuclear rods is what caused the radiation release. They're exposed, not the core of the reactor. All over France and all over the world, there are spent nuclear rods sitting there in nuclear sites, totally exposed. The slightest accident could create a Fukushima. Number three, the International Atomic Energy Commission says that we face uranium deficits between 2025 and 2035, just with the 400 plants we have. The price is going to go up. It's never going to go down. And then number four, the French have a new generation of nuclear power plants that can recycle uranium to plutonium. Do we want plutonium in the, all over the world in hundreds and hundreds of nuclear power plants in an age of terrorism? That's insanity. And finally, and I want everyone in France to hear this, 40% of all the fresh water consumed in this entire country is consumed by the nuclear industry to cool nuclear reactors. I hope everyone heard that. And when that water comes back, it's heated up and it's dehydrating the ecosystems that are responsible for agriculture and for a vibrant, uh, sustainable agricultural base in this country. Now, there are saltwater nuclear power plants, but unfortunately they're on the coast where the tectonic plates and the tsunamis come in and the urban populations are. So there just isn't enough water, fresh water, to do this. Nuclear power uh, is interesting because it's a reflection of the centralized 20th century thinking about energy. Let me use your analogy on why it's so old and outdated and, and will not play a role even in France in 30 or 40 years. Now, it's not that nuclear power is going to leave tomorrow, but you're not going to build many nuclear power plants anymore, and here's why. The music industry did not understand file sharing in music. Millions of kids started creating software laterally in order to share music. And the music companies laughed, then they got worried, then they tried to legislate or, in, or create encryption, and within five years they collapsed. The newspapers did not understand the blogosphere. Millions of people creating their own information and sharing it laterally. Now the newspapers are going out of business or creating blogs. Encyclopedia Britannica laughed at Wikipedia. Millions of people sharing knowledge with an accuracy rate like Encyclopedia Britannica laterally. Now Encyclopedia Britannica is virtually out of business. Bill Gates didn't understand Linux. Thousands of people uh, helping each other with code, millions of people helping each other. Linux is a world player. What I'm saying now is it's the same with power. When millions and millions and millions of buildings are collecting their own energy, 
storing it in hydrogen and sharing it across continents on intergrid, the lateral power of millions and millions of small players sharing that energy laterally, it dwarfs, it overwhelms anything you could do with a nuclear coal-fired power plant. Just like millions of people with grid IT connecting their little desktop computers, the distributed power dwarfs anything a centralized computer could do. Now, what young people should imagine in France is the year 2050. Four generations of people growing up on the internet empowered to create their own information and share it on open commons. Do you think they're going to be surrounded by old-fashioned, top-down, centralized, 20th century, clunky nuclear power plants? It's a joke. You smile, I smile. The politicians have to catch up to what the younger generation is doing. 